Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy and Sean B. Nice back here at Smoke Heat Rock. And today we're doing pretty much just an updated refresh of Sam Samsung messages versus Android messages. Now, a lot has changed with Android messages and believe it or not, I've actually switched over. Now my last video I made last year, um, I was using Samsung messages for, you know, good reason. But now I feel like Android messages at a point where it's like, okay, now we talk. So what I'll do is I'll stick to one. I do Android messages first to kind of point out all the goods and you know the deets of why I think Android messages fire. Then I still point out why Samsung messages may still be someone's like preferred choice. So with that being said, okay, so getting started with Android message right now. The reason I like Android message thus far is because honestly it's it integrates well with at least Sprint. Now here's the thing. Um, some features that I may say or that I may list will be due to carrier specific. Right. So, for example, I know Sprint and T-Mobile supports RCS, and what RCS is stand for is Rich Communication Settings or Rich Communication Services, and pretty much it's like it's the equivalent, not all the way, but it's just think of it as kind of like Android's iMessage. Right. Now, Sprint and Android messages work well together. Now, I now you can do this on Samsung messages as well. The only problem is that Android messages is kind of almost like instant, whereas with Samsung message, you may have like some snags where it won't work all the time. So for example, if I decided to text a friend of mine who does have RCS, what you'll notice is it says chat message, right? Now, if I send him a message, uh, I can send him a huge file. If I wanted to send him like a video in the original quality, I can do that. Um, now I switch over to Gboard. Now Samsung keyboard works as well, but I just prefer uh, Gboard GIFs or GIFs, how you want to pronounce it. And if I wanted to send him a GIF or GIF I can, um, if I wanted to send him you know, pictures, uh, just like real quick GIFs I can send like that, just kind of go straight to high fives. Little stickers, if I want to send him money through GPay, I can. If I want to give him my access or do a voice memo, I can do that or share a contact. So you do have a plethora for the most part of communication settings in which you can use at your disposal. And also you got like the big emoji. Now what's cool about this is that when you, like if I send an emoji, when I send it, it'll be kind of big like how it is on iMessage. When you send an iMessage emoji, like when you send emojis only, it'll be kind of big. You kind of get that same thing on G, uh, on Android message and it let you know when that's delivered as well. Now, again, you do have that with Samsung. You do have RCS with Samsung messages, but again, I feel like it's more fluid here. Also, you have this setting here messages for the web. Now what's dope about messages for the web is that if I wanted to, if I'm at work, um, which I use this feature all the time, I can just go ahead and get my messages directly from the internet and send those messages with no problem. Now, again, this works seamless. Now, is it as good as iMessage? No, but I actually feel like it's a little bit better, honestly, because no matter what computer I'm at, if I'm at a friend's house, whatever the case is, I gotta do a scan a QR code, boom, and then I can go ahead and get my messages straight from my phone to the computer that I'm using in my choice at the time. Also, I feel like Android message is better for sharing. So for example, if I wanted to share a picture, we'll share, it, we'll share this GIF I made. Now what's dope is that with Android messages, if I, if, when I just click on messages, I have to block out the numbers, but it'll just give me that specific person stuff right there and boom, I click it and it's good to go. Now the only thing, I guess my only real gripe with Android messages versus Samsung messages is the fact that with Samsung messages, and I know a, a brother of mine who specifically uses this feature, and I use this feature as well sometimes, is scheduled messages. That's a feature that you do not have on Android messages. If you're someone who uses scheduling messages on your phone, um, this does not have that, right? And I'll show you that, and I'll show you what that is, just in case if you don't know on Samsung Messages. And what's also just, I think it's fire, but again, if you have T-Mobile, this may be different for you, but at least on Sprint, we don't technically have video calling, so we have to use Google Duo. Now with Google Duo, if you have Google Duo and Android Messages, you can go ahead and hit the video icon, it'll open up the Google Duo app and call this person straight from, the, straight from the app itself. So I feel like the integration with Android Messages is way fire. Um, I like the fact that you do have a dark theme and a night theme. And on top of that, you re, uh, they changed this already because they updated it, but previously on Samsung Messages, they'll still like show the person's number and their name. But at least on Android Messages, it's always been, you'd be able to just see the name only. Also with Android Messages, you have a feature which is called Smart Reply, whereas if, if Android reads a message and it, it would try to give you its best guess on what you may want to say next. So it's real quick, you just gonna answer it and you'd be good to go. Now, previously they used to have where you could change like the color of the person you were talking to, like their bubbles. I think they took that feature out. That's a feature I can no longer find, but nonetheless it's here. And honestly, overall, I kind of just like the overall look and feel of Android messages compared to Samsung messages now. Now, moving on to Samsung messages. 
Now with Samsung Messages, it's still pretty cool, right? Because you have a thing where you get to switch over from, from your conversations to your contacts. And that was pretty cool about that is like, you just can't think of a person you're trying to look for, you get to switch over, go find a name and boom, click right into the messages. But for example, here, if we open my father's conversation up, as you guys can see, I don't have that duo, I don't have that video calling option there to even contact them if I wanted to. If we just, if we look at Samsung keyboard with and uh, with Samsung messages. Samsung keyboard is still good. It works for quite well, but the problem is that I have is that honestly, Samsung gifts are just, they're trash. Like, I don't know why they chose to go with, I think they call it Giphy versus the one uh, Google use, which I think is just straight from the Google database or whatever, like Google search. But, but for the most part, they trash. And to even get to the gifts, you gotta kind of do like extra steps. You gotta go here. I just, I don't like the gift support on Samsung keyboard with Samsung messaging was, was Funny is that you can't use Gboard gifts with Samsung messages. So I felt like, if anything, man, Samsung needs to just go ahead and just drop their messaging service at this point. I feel like Android messages definitely caught up. You really don't get that much more functionality with Samsung messages over Android messages. Now the only thing I can say, like if I was to get a message through Samsung message, I can pull down and make it like a little box, like a little creative window when I answer the message or whatever. But after you get kind of get past that, cause you kind of have a similar feature there. If you get a message, you can put out a notification slide and just answer it straight from there. Now it may not come up in a box, but if you want to, you can kind of create like a little box for yourself. I mean, it's less steps over here, but you can do the same thing with Android Message here. I don't feel like that warrants enough for me to switch back to Samsung Message. Now, again, you do have RCS again on Samsung Message, but again, that is carrier base. So if you have Sprint or T-Mobile, you, you may see this option, you will have this option. But if you have a Ryzen, uh, if you have a Ryzen 18T, you would not see that. And another thing I do like on Samsung Messages versus Android Messages, I can also see my picture as, as if I forgot what I look like, right? But I can also see my picture with the contact picture. With Android Messages, you cannot. Um, it's very easy. And I would say that it's definitely a lot simpler to record a voice memo using Samsung Messages versus Android Message. Again, that depends on how often you use that feature. And as far as scheduling messages, to kind of show you guys that if you've never done it before, you wanna hit the little plus symbol, you wanna hit the three dot menu, and then you wanna go right here where it says schedule message. So, you know, if this is something that's important for you, you click that, you put the time that you wanna send in with, and the date that you wanna send this message. So for example, if it's somebody's birthday coming up, I don't know, in a few months or next month, you really don't wanna forget you wanna send this person a message at 12 a.m. on the dot, you can set that up and you be good to go. So that I think that's fire, right? I think that is a very cool feature to have. If Android message get that Samsung message, really can just definitely wrap it up because it's just, it's way more fluid on Android message than it is on Samsung message. Just like as far as like sending certain things, um, the pop-up mean that you you get this a little bit more faster than me um, with Android message versus Samsung message. So overall, I just feel like Samsung message at this point in time is just a little bit pointless. For that one feature, I wouldn't, for the one feature that Samsung message have of an Android message, I wouldn't convert back, get them just for that alone. Also, what I forgot to mention, which is a huge, huge, um, Trump, huge thing with Android message over Samsung message is that if I'm somewhere, now again, if you, you if you set up Wi-Fi calling, cool, but if you're somewhere where your signal is just trash, but you have Wi-Fi on Android message, you can still send messages with no problem. You can send messages messages over Wi-Fi with Android message. So that is a huge, huge thing, right? Because there are a lot of cases where you're somewhere in a building and you just can't really get a good signal. But if you have your Wi-Fi turned on, it will automatically switch over for you to send those messages. Now with Samsung messages, it's different, right? So it's carrier based. You have to kind of go into your settings, go into your features and find like Wi-Fi call and enable it. And then it would do it is nowhere near as seamless as Android message. So to me, that automatically gives Android messages the win over Samsung messages. So hope this answered any questions you guys probably had. Hope this is a nice update from the last video I had. Make sure I link that somewhere here. You might've seen it in the cards already, but also I'll make sure I link that video in the description below. Um, but let me know what you guys use. And if I missed anything, please let the people know in the comment section because I probably missed some things that you guys probably use on either one of these platforms a lot that I didn't cover. So if I did, make sure you listen to the comments down below. It's your boy Sean, be nice and I'm out, man. Deuces.